All right, here we go. We're going to start a new chapter here. This is Mr. Brust. We're going to start talking about expressions. This is awesome. In this uh, section here, we're only talking about numeric expressions. And I'm going to give a shout out to uh, my favorite Fortnite skin, Math Girl. Look at her tie. She's ready to rock and roll. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Let's do it. So what is a numeric expression? So a numeric expression is, you may have guessed from numeric, is numbers. Let's jot this bad boy down. Uh, and operations. Add, subtract, multiply, divide. Oh, my handwriting is rough. I hope yours is better. So we got numbers and operations. So it's we've been doing these all year, but things like two plus three, anything like this, four divided by five, anything that has a number and an operation. Now this is gonna get more challenging as we add some variables into the mix, but for right now, we're gonna look at just numeric expressions. Awesome. So when you think numeric expressions, you think order of operations. So we think order of, op why do we have these order of operations? Well, so we all get the same answer. Let's say we had an expression like two times three plus one. Well, some people could have said, oh, I'm gonna go two times three is six, plus that one and get seven. But what if somebody else said, oh man, I'm gonna say three plus one is four, then times it by two and eight. It's two different answers. This is a bummer. We can't have that happen. We all need to get the same answer. So it's kind of just like the rules we follow so that we all know what we're talking about. We all get the same answer. So you may have learned PEMDAS, which is totally cool. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It's a nice way to remember it. We're gonna kind of change the game a little bit today and change it into GIMDOS, if I can get it to show up here. Holy cow, I gotta tap each one. There it is, all right. So basically, I'm just gonna turn the P into a G, and you may be wondering, well, why would I change that? Well, really, the G is gonna stand for groupings. There are more than just parentheses out there. So I know we like these parentheses, like four plus one, we group it together. But there's also things like absolute values. Three plus one could be an absolute value. There are square roots, three plus one in there. There are also the fraction bar is a grouping sign. We've got four, let's say four plus one over two. These are all groupings. So parentheses is part of the groupings, but so are other symbols and we're gonna learn more and more. So that's why we changed it from PIMDOS to GIMDOS. Awesome. What are some other things? Exponents, I hope you remember exponent rules. Things like three squared. That just means three times three which is nine. So we're gonna look at exponents. They come second in our order of operations, what we do. Then I like to, instead of stack them like MD, it's actually they're the same. It's multiply or divide. It just depends on who comes first. So we work left to right on this. So we're, I like to think of it like a little arrow going left to right. It's whoever comes first. So they're the same uh, thing. Multiplying and dividing are kind of like the same. So we just go whoever shows up first. Same thing with add or subtract. It's whoever shows up first, we're gonna do it. So if I have four plus five minus three, I'm going to add first because he shows up first. If it was four minus five plus three, again, I would do four minus five first because they show up first. Awesome, so we always go left to right. That is order of operations and numerical expressions. Let's start using them then. So here we go. So one thing we're gonna have to do is evaluate them. It's just can we break this all the way down to a number. Can I simplify it all the way down to a number? So if I look at this and I follow my GIMDOS right here, I'm gonna start with, remember this is a time, so I'm gonna say three times five is 15. Boom, I'm good to go. Six plus 15 is 21, and I am good to go, that is it. So make sure you multiply before you add. And I'm sure you've done this. We're gonna up the pain a little bit, bring the pain, I don't know, we're gonna do something. We're gonna make these a little more challenging. So. Uh, there's no groupings, I always check for groupings, but there is an exponent. I've got this three squared, so really three times three is nine. Now, here we go, there's that addition subtraction, the same, I go left to right, so four minus nine is a negative five plus the one, and then the last one, negative five plus one is negative four. So, I'm gonna try to make these all doable without a calculator. Uh, they're more friendly if you have a calculator. Talk to your teacher, make sure they're cool with it, but I'm cool with it. Uh, I won't be salty if I see you using a calculator on these, as long as you make sure you know the actual order of operations. Awesome, so this is a grouping sign. This is our first G right here. This is a grouping sign. So even though there's no, you don't see the parentheses, this fraction bar is a grouping sign. It groups the top and the bottom. So it's the whole top is being divided by the whole bottom. So if you wanna put parentheses in, you can. It just means we need to do four plus six first. So four plus six is 10. The two is just chilling on the bottom, he's just two. 10 divided by two is five. So that may be a new thing for you guys. Fraction bar, division bar means a grouping sign. It's gonna be huge coming up. All right, 
let's take a look at this last one here. So I also have a grouping sign. It's the parentheses. This is not really a grouping sign. This is just showing that there's a negative and it's a multiplication. So I'm going to clean this up first. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. And once I clean up, the parentheses are gone. Minus 2 times a negative 3. So this is kind of weird here. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So really we're saying 2 minus 2 times negative 3 is a negative 6. And then remember, I hate those double signs right there. Ugh, minus, minus is so weird. It really means 2 plus 6, which is 8. So that's what's happening. If you can just go ahead and think of this as taking the sign in front, this is a negative 2 times a negative 3. We'll check it out. That gets you the plus 6. So some people like to say, oh, that's minus 2 times a minus 3, which is a positive 6. They like to go straight to this step. I'm totally down with that because I hate double signs. Um, and that may help you think about things in the future, is that's a negative in front. Awesome, we are killing it. Uh, so we can clean them up. We're also gonna have to write them. So I'm gonna give you some just like translate, like some sentences, like the sum of four and eight that we're gonna write as expressions. Here are some words to help you out. So jot these down, you may have to pause. These are things that can mean addition right here. So we can say, uh, definitely sum is addition, like that. That's what sum means when you add two uh, things together. But here's some other things. Total, maybe I increase by or gain or more than. These are all things that mean you're going up, you're adding to it. So sum is the big one right here. As soon as you see sum, this is just four plus eight. Again, these are gonna get more challenging. So you're like, Mr. Bruss, I got this. Well, yeah, just practice it. Trust me, uh, we're gonna build and build and build. So this is the, the ground level. So four plus eight is 12. Let's, let's make sure we finish them out. What are things that mean subtraction? So jot these bad boys down. We have, for sure, difference of two numbers is subtraction. How much more decrease, loss, and less than? These are all things that you're losing, or how much bigger is something? So nine decreased, decreased by uh, three uh, is going to be six. Whoops, there it is. Killing it, I love it. Uh, multiplication, this list is smaller, you're gonna be happy here. Not as many things for multiplications because uh, it comes up in a variety of ways, but product is the big one. That is what multiplication is called, the product of two numbers. If you see times, that's a good chance you're gonna multiply. If it says multiply, obviously you're gonna multiply. Uh, and of a lot of times can mean multiply. So four times bigger than a number, so there's the word times. This just means four times three, and that is an expression. Clean it up, numeric expression, only numbers. And you get 12. Rock and roll, the finale here. Division, things that can mean divide. So we've got quotient is the word that means division of two numbers. Average and ratio, things like that. So you can say eight, I like to do fraction bars, eight divided by two, which in this case is four. It may not always reduce. In this case it did, and we're good to go. Awesome, so the last thing we have to do is just take some kind of a word problem or situation, write expression, and then evaluate it, and that's it. So it's kind of like building steps. So. Here are the two styles of problems we're going to look at. So a large, soda, uh, a large soda costs $4. A small soda is $2. You're going to buy three large sodas and five small sodas. So I want you to write the expression. I know you may be able to do it in your head or jot it down, but you're going to buy three large sodas for $4. So it's going to be three times $4. Plus you're going to buy five small sodas at $2. That is a great expression. You could also, if you wanted to say, hey, I got a $4 soda plus a $4 soda plus a $4 soda, three of them, um, and you could have said, I've got what, five $2 sodas, so there's a $2, there's a $2, $2, $2, $2. That would also work. This is a totally fine expression, um, but we're gonna lean towards using multiplication instead of repeated addition. So I'd like to see you write the top one. Bottom one is totally legit. Uh, if you just wanna mess with me, you can write that in there, but I prefer the top one. And then to clean it up, we've got three times four is 12, plus 10, we've got 22. And again, if you added all those up, you would also get 22. Make sure you label it $22 on sodas. That's a lot of sodas. Get your Mountain Dew on, fantastic. Awesome, now back to uh, Fortnite, you know, back to Math Girl here, so wrap it up. Um, I have, or you have, not me, I have way more than six solo wins, I don't know about you. Uh, but you, let's say you have six solo wins, you get two wins every day. How many solo wins will you have in 10 days? So what do you start with? You have six wins, plus you're gaining wins on the reg, yo. So you're adding wins, you get two solo wins every day. So how many days? 10 days 
of two solo wins. So it's going to be 6 plus 2 times 10. Again, you could have said 6 plus uh, 2 wins plus 2 wins plus 2 wins plus 2 wins plus 2 wins, all that if you want to write it out. But I'm just going to leave it as multiplication and clean this bad boy up. So it's going to be 6 plus 20, which is 26 wins. So in 10 days, you will have 26 wins. Make sure you label it. Write the expression. I'm going to check that. I'm going to check that. Make sure your answer makes sense. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh, and that's it. So good luck on the practice and the mastery check. Peace out.